Hey, Saul. Good to see you, Mel. Hey, guys. Namaste, everyone. Hi, Marky, Penny. I expected to see most of you here in person. I'm at a mindfulness retreat. I can't be there with you in person, but my spirit and positive energy are right there in the conference room with you. Great. I hope they like bagels. Look. I call this meeting to go over our return to office strategy. Last quarter, we asked employees to come in three days a week. Obviously, that's not happening. It feels like a ghost town. I'm with you, Mel. There's no reason employees can't come in three days a week. The way I see it, if they aren't in the office, how do I know they're really working? Saul, where are you? I'm in Catalina for the sales kickoff. The SKO finished on Tuesday. Yeah, but I've been so productive, I stayed the whole week. I'll be back in the office on Monday. Actually, make that Tuesday. Monday, I have a thing. Look, I want to hear some ideas about improving attendance. We pay $20 million for our new headquarters. I want to see some butts in chairs. It's a fabulous building, Mel. It's such a shame no one is there. Remote work isn't sustainable. There's no team chemistry. People are social animals. They're not meant to work in isolation. Marky, is that your home office? Uh, yeah, the kid's school had a water main break. I gotta watch him today. Mom, Billy's eating crayons. Hey, Mommy's working. <laughs> Sorry, I'll be right back. Raj! Raj, glad you could make it, sort of. We're discussing back to office. What's the plan in the IT org? Yeah, I'm doing my best to get the engineers to come in, especially the junior ones. They really need face-to-face -face mentoring. Raj, are you in your Tesla? Hell yeah, the Model Y just got the Zoom app. What's up? Yeah, buddy. Oh, Raj. <laughs> Let me know when you get into the office. I want a deep dive on the strategy. Yeah, I can't get to the office. The road out here is still flooded. Listen, guys, it's urgent to get your teams back on site. The truckers are feeling left out of the whole remote work thing. Their union is demanding that at least half the corporate staff is in the office. Otherwise, they're going remote too. Are you what kidding? The hell? Away. Penny, can you get Vincent on the line? Sure. I'll see if he's available. Mel, I've been brainstorming ways to incentivize staff to come in. Like, if someone joins a meeting from home, make them do 20 push-ups. We can't do that, Saul. We'll get sued for ableism. Some people are really Finny DeVito at your service. Vincent, glad you could join us. I'll get right to the point. We need to get those trucks rolling. Here's the situation. My guys are pissed off because they're busting their asses all day while you snowflakes are at home sipping your lattes and watching TikToks. From now on, if you work from home, we work from home. You can't work from home. You're truck drivers. Maybe we can. Raj, show everyone what you're cooking up for us. Sure. Mel, can you share the slide deck I sent you? Okay. So our biggest CapEx cost today is physical transportation, which is both equipment and labor intensive. But if we can tokenize the goods and move them to the metaverse, we can shave the shipping cost by 80%. What the hell are you talking about? So imagine a virtual world where every sheet of plastic is an NFT and every shipment is an Ethereum transaction. Every driver has an avatar. You've got to be fucking kidding me. This would be great for our sustainability initiative. If the plastic is in the cloud, it can't be in the ocean. I heard sea turtles eat plastic and get really sick. Come on. We have an order to ship three tons of plastic to Scranton by Thursday. The Scranton in this universe customer is not going to pay for an NFT. Look, Mel, all you got to do is bring your white collar cupcakes back to the office and those trucks will be moving again. They ain't going to drive themselves. Self-driving trucks are coming, Vinny. You'll be out of business before that. And then your guys will be out of a job too. Is that what you want? Hey, there's too much negative karma here. Mel, Vinny, you're both radiating this powerful energy. But your force fields are colliding and causing turbulence in the cosmos. 
Let's take a break and realign our energies with a team building exercise. How about two truths and a lie? That's always fun, right? Oh yeah, I love that game. Great. Then we'll get into two breakout rooms. Mel and Vinny, I'm putting you two in separate rooms so you can cool off. Two truths and a lie, I'll go first. Which one of these three things is a lie? I'm divorced, my kid's school isn't really closed, I'm not wearing a- Who wants to go first? We're not playing any games. Raj, I'm losing patience with you. Your org has the worst on-site attendance of anyone in the company. You need to start cracking the whip and get your people back in the office. And stop screwing around with the metaverse. I have another idea, and you might like this one better. So I have been playing with this new AI tool called ChatGPT. Mm -hmm. Oh, I've heard of that. My kids used it to write their term papers. Right. It can also generate code, and the code it spits out is actually better than what some of our engineers can write. Well, that's depressing. Well, once I automate the process, we can lay off 30% of my org. That'll save us money. But how does it help us with our on-site problem? We can use the savings to hire a bunch of unskilled temps to fill up the office space. Ooh, that's good. Vinny, you go next. All right. Let's see. I'm a widower. I'm in the mafia. And I play trombone in a swing band. Holy shit, are we being recorded? You're not in the mafia. You got it, Marky. I know your type. All bark and no bite. I can't be in the mafia. Because there is no mafia. Oh. I like your idea, Raj. But where are we going to find all these workers? We can hire ex-cons. The county just released hundreds of felons because of criminal justice reform. No one wants to hire felons. We can scoop them up. Oh, that's good. A lot of them are homeless, too. We can set up cots in the office, and they can basically just live there. They can work from home in the office. The jail population is very diverse. We'll have the best DEI numbers in the industry. Raj, can the ex-cons be trained to use your AI tools? There's actually a name for that job. It's called prompt engineer. But yeah, pretty much anyone can do it. We've got a solution. Let's bring the others back in. I have to bail. We have a proposal. Vinny, we found a way to hit our occupancy targets if your drivers agree to get back on the road. How are you going to do that? We're going to hire ex-cons. Vinny, do you have a problem with that? Not at all. I can recommend some people. Mel, is the board going to go along with having felons in the building? If they don't like that, our backup plan can be to use corpses, like we can at Bernie's. I can help with that, too. We're not putting dead bodies in the building. It's a red line. I'll deal with the board. Let's talk about the criminals. Which ones are we comfortable hiring? No murderers or rapists. Good point, Marky. Violent crimes are off the table. What about a smash and grab? Grabber, yes. Smash or no. Sounds like white collar criminals are our best option. Definitely. They didn't kill anyone and they're used to an office environment. Win, win. How about embezzlement? That's a non-starter. Better if they did something like accounting fraud, like they claimed revenue that wasn't real. Someone like that could be a fit for the sales team. Meeting will end in 60 seconds due to delinquent account payment? Oh shit, I need to talk to accounts payable. Looks like they weren't working from home either. <sighs> Let's pick this up again Monday. Will everybody be in the office? That's my team. Penny, could you run the Zoom on Monday? I, I got a thing.